Hello everyone. In this session, we'll see a question on radius of curvature for a polar curve. So let us say that this is the question for us, and the given equation is in the polar form. We know that radius of curvature for such case is actually given by rho equal to r square plus r1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r times of r2 where r1 and r2 are the first and second derivative of r with respect to theta. So let us try to find r1 and r2 first. For that the polar equation which is given here as rn equal to e to the power of n cos n theta let us take log on both the sides and differentiate with respect to theta so that will be log of r to the power of n equal to log of e to the power of n plus log of cos n theta so this is using product rule now using the power rule we can say this is actually n times of log of r equal to log of e to the power of n no need to change this because this is just a constant plus log of cos n theta now differentiating this with respect to theta we'll have n times of 1 by r times of dr by d theta equal to log a n just constant so 0 cos n theta so that will be 1 by cos n theta times of n times of minus sign n theta so we are looking for dr by d theta that is r1 n is a common factor we can take it off so now we'll have r1 equal to r times of minus of of course sin n theta by cos n theta so that is tan n theta this is one of the expression we need now again differentiating this with respect to theta we will have r2 equal to using product rule r2 is equal to minus of differentiation of r will become r1 times of tan of n theta and let's say minus is outside and uh, differentiating tan n theta keeping r as it is so plus r times of sec square n theta times of n now since we have already found r1 as r times of tan theta tan n theta times of minus 1 so let us put this in r2 we will have minus and minus of will become just positive so r tan n theta square minus of r and this is of course n sec square n theta so this is let's say number 2 now after finding r1 and r2 we can follow the equation for radius of curvature that is rho so rho being the equation as given r square plus r1 square to the power of 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r times of r2 so let us put all these values r square let us keep r square as it is first and this will be r square plus now r1 square is actually from number one r1 square is going to be r square tan square n theta, n theta. so r square tan square of n theta to the power of 3 by 2 and then divided by r square which is let's say it as it is 2 r1 square so for r1 square again we can put r tan n theta so that will be again 2 times of r square times of tan square of n theta minus of r times of r2 so r times of r2 you can see we have got in number 2 r2 so that will be r times of r1 okay so from equation 2 we don't have r1 we will have just 
r times of r tan square n theta minus r times n sec square n theta. So r square is common in both the terms of the numerator and r square to the power of 3 by 2 will become r cube. Also 1 plus tan square n theta will become sec square n theta to the power of 3 by 2 will become sec cube n theta. In denominator also we can see r square is a term which is common everywhere. So let's say we are taking r square common. So that will be 1 plus 2 tan square n theta minus of tan square n theta minus and minus plus of n times of sec square n theta. We can cut down r square and r cube. So we will have rho equal to r times of sec of sec cube n theta divided by so this 2 tan square theta minus tan square theta will become tan square n theta and 1 plus tan square n theta will become sec square n theta we also have n times of sec square n theta so we can cut down sec square n theta from numerator and denominator to have rho equal to r times of sec n theta so we can see that this is what we are getting in terms of divided by n plus 1. Now r is something which we will need so now we can go back to the equation and see that r can be written as e times of cos n theta to the power of 1 by n. So from here if we take nth root on both the sides we will have r equal to e times of cos n theta to the power of 1 by n. Using it here e times of cos n theta to the power of 1 by n times of sec n theta by n plus 1. Now since r to the power of n was e to the power of n by cos n theta we can say that 1 by cos of n theta will be actually e to the power of n by r to the power of n. So 1 by cos n theta is actually sec n theta so we can put it here and we will have r times of e to the power of n by r to the power of n by n plus 1. So we can say rho is actually e to the power of n 1 by n plus 1 r to the power of n minus 1. So this can be considered as the radius of curvature for the polar curve. I hope this is clear. Thank you.